What's going on, guys? Josh here. From... What's going on, guys? Josh here from Polymathics, and today I want to talk to you about why it's not okay to be normal. That's right. I'm saying you should be abnormal. Isn't that a bit strange? Yes, it is. But when we take a look at history and not only all of the polymaths throughout history, but just in general, we see a common pattern. But first, let's talk about those polymaths. Um, three great examples come to my mind. One, you have Socrates. Here's a guy who had a very strange appearance. He didn't bathe. He walked around the city. He had a really strange gait. Um, and even the words that he used were, were kind of off. Um, but they got people's attention. And that's key. Um, another person that was a little off by normal standards, everybody you could say was Leonardo da Vinci himself. I mean, the man wrote in his notes backwards because he was so paranoid about other people seeing what he was writing. Now, part of that was because of the religious political environment at the time but um, to the outsider he, he his his everyday life was a little strange and then also look at Einstein I mean granted very brilliant man but um, also a little eclectic or you could also look at Tesla I mean there's tons of examples um, but the point is, the point that I'm getting at is, being normal is boring. Being normal is going to keep you from achieving all of your goals. Because the more you try to be normal, the more your goals are going to be normal. Think about it like this. Most people, I'll give you a good example. Right now, it's like, I don't know past midnight it's like 12 something at my in where I'm at right now and I'm tired I just had a whole day's worth of work did college courses took care of personal items all I would like to do right now is go to bed that's what any normal human being would want to do but the thing is if you follow that route then every day when all of those other circumstances that life throws at you come in the way what's gonna happen every day you go to sleep every day you wake up and you haven't done anything for your goals you haven't done anything towards your dreams and so so we have to take an abnormal approach we have to be a little crazy we have to be a little obsessed we have to get a little crazy eyed right in order to push ourselves like um like a muscle right you know right when it's the most exhausted that last rep when you're struggling and you can't get it up and the more you hold it there the more you hold it there centimeter by centimeter inch by inch you can finally push it out and lock out that last rep where you went beyond the point of failure where you were so tired where your body was so exhausted and you went further than you could go that's what allows your muscles to then recover grow back stronger so that the next time they lift that weight it's not as difficult same thing applies to your dreams to your goals you have to be full throttle all the time you have to be a little obsessed you have to be crazy about what you're doing and the more you aim for mediocrity, the more you will obtain it. So, if all you want to do, if your dream, let's say, is to become a writer, but all you do every day is go to work and you say, gee, I'd like to write or whatever, but I can't dedicate that extra hour or two that it takes every day to put in some writing because I have all of these other responsibilities to do 
Well, guess what? Every other average, normal human being on the face of this earth that is wallowing in, in mediocrity is doing the same exact thing you're doing. And so you will suffer their fate as well. This means that you will have to make sacrifices. Um, sometimes you, you, you may not get to watch TV or sleep or, or get to spend hours upon hours with loved ones. But I promise you this. When you put those dreams first, your big, crazy dreams, the, the ones that, that no one else thinks you can achieve, when you put those first and you start centimeter by centimeter, inch by inch, pushing towards those dreams, you're going to feel better about yourself. You're going to feel, as you go through that process, you're going to feel like you're accomplishing something. It's going to build reference points that you're going to be able to look back on and say, I did that. I'm capable of doing that again and again and again. And when you do that, your whole life changes. Your confidence will build and and the way you interact with people will change. The way, the way you approach life, it gets you into the zone, right? It gets you into the zone, building momentum. And the thing is, when, when you do have that free time for your family um, or, or friends or whatever, it's not that you give them up completely, that's not what I'm saying, but when you do have that time, it's far more precious because both to them and to you. One, because you don't get it as much as you would like. And two, because you've taken care of all of those crazy dreams and, and goals and, and, and drives that are, that are burning inside of you that, that have to get out. When you've taken care of those, when you've quenched that thirst, then you can actually enjoy your time with your friends and family. Instead of while you're with them, you're constantly thinking of X, Y, and Z that you're not doing or that you need to do or that you should be doing or that has to be done. You don't have to think about that anymore. So, so I guess I'll leave you with this. You know, what is it that you're doing right now? What it what is the one thing that you could do today that you've been putting off because you wanted to watch another episode of Doctor Who or you wanted to um you know go to bed an hour early or you had bills and doctor appointments and um you know phone calls to make and and all kinds of responsibilities to dishes and and cleaning and folding laundry right what are those things that are getting in your way and what is that one thing that you could do today just put everything else aside and get that one thing done maybe it would only take 10 15 minutes that would make you feel like you're back on track because i guarantee you if you do that one thing if you do if you just a little bit crazy a little bit abnormal and you don't do what everybody else is doing you don't settle for mediocrity and you say I deserve more. I deserve better. I deserve more than a normal life. I deserve a super nor a supernatural life, a super a, amazing life, right? More than normal life. Once you once you tell yourself that and you get out there, I guarantee, you know, you're going to get results and you're going to feel great and you're going to have reference points that are going to build and build and build and get you into the zone. Okay, so hope you guys found this helpful and until next time, I'll catch you later.